shown it off before, can't quite remember. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty well rounded. Um, it's standard. It's a kind of a, a Reno deck, so it only has one of each card, although it doesn't have Reno. Go figure, right? Uh, it doesn't use the priest quest either, so that's going to be interesting. But we'll see how it goes. Cause I, I should probably call it a Kazakas deck, shouldn't I? It's like it's a Kazakas deck now. Um, but I just thought I'd chill out and play some bit of Hearthstone. Uh, I need to get into kind of like making some different decks and things like that as well. Um, and uh, I guess we'll see what comes from that. I was nice to have playing around some elemental stuff today. It was quite good fun, but um, yeah. Guess I'll keep the Shadow Vision just as like an emergency card in case he. That's pretty good actually. Just in case he decides to go mental. And a Geode is very good as well. Very good. I managed to compare the Geode over the Radiant 100%. Okay, he's a Murloc deck. Interesting. Could get some nice stuff out of this Geode then. So Geode, when it heals, you get a 2-2 crystal. It's pretty good for a 2-cost card. Um, oh, wow, look at that hex straight out. Wow. Wow. That guy was slightly terrified. Buddy, or uh, are you okay? You know, he's a Murloc, so I kind of, yeah, I want some AoE. Uh, definitely, because what he's going to do is he's going to flood the board. We got ourselves taunt anyway, Mr. Frog. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Frog? Bit. What's your favourite website, Mr. Frog? See, get it? That's that's a classy joke. You've got to, you don't get those sort of jokes on other channels, okay? That's a great card as well. Uh, Ready? Okay. Let's see how this guy's going to unite the Murlocs. Okay, that's going to be the first part of his plan. How much would I love that that, that, that cost five? So much. Interesting. We could. So I think you don't want to steal that. Um, we could hurry Nova. Tack into that. Tack into that and hurry Nova. I don't know whether I want to save Holy Nova though. I guess I've got Dragonfire if I get into real trouble. This could be really good as well next turn. So, yeah, I guess we do this. Because that way he's got no Murlocs on the board, if that makes sense. And that's what I want to kind of stop, because... If you have Murlocs on the board, um, he can buff them or, you know, do stuff like that. So, you kind of want to try and avoid that now. The problem is, of course, is he's going to keep playing the Murlocs. amount we can do now. He's gonna attack that into that obviously. I could push the mana speed quality right now, but I guess I could just attack into that. I might steal that. Okay, what do we got? What are our options here? Um we can only play that, we could play this. So my, my thought of stealing that totem did not work out, unfortunately. Um, but hey, if we can, if he plays on that call in the finishes next turn, we can wipe him out with a free from amber. Keeping this radiant in play has been very, very helpful. It's probably the longest it's ever stayed alive. Um, Is someone injured? Okay, Medivh, interesting. Still got an AoE in the Dragon 
fire, but it would wipe our board, obviously. Which is not something I'm particularly intrigued in doing. Okay. Why did you do that? It was the wrong order. A mistake. Oops. interesting. It doesn't trigger on that. Uh, what can we do here? We could silence the... that. It's being buffed by plus two plus one. Quite be enough, really. What uh, is we we could build up with? this. Tortola, preserve us! Surrender your with that dragon fire potion in hand as well. I mean the dragon fire is not ideal but if he just flies the board I'm quite tempted to just use it to be honest. Okay. The question is though do I maybe want to take control of something? I mean he's still got a lot of cards so if I can not use the dragon fire potion that would be ideal here. Um, I'm thinking we go like this we go like Well, 
was uh, a good example, I think, of uh, when you get a good start with a deck like I did. There's like very little way back sometimes because of that. Um, we had that was so strong it just allowed us to really really hammer home um, on him and I don't think I was ever in trouble there despite you know multitudes of murlocs coming in we just got really good draws and had really good hand at all times and um, that early hex he had was just a terrible mistake really I mean I guess it was it wasn't at the end of the day he knew that if he was going to be playing like low health, low attack murlocs for a while, then I was going to have a field day and just have a, a whole host of geodes. But um, like as soon as Grawl came up, you know, we knew he wouldn't have a an answer to it. So I think typically those sort of decks generally only run one hex, but. To be fair, if you kill Grawl, we had Medivh, who's another big card as well, so, you know, if you had Hexed, then, okay, um, greetings, to you. the ball chemist, I love the artwork on these, like, cards, they're so good, um, a lot of these, like, catches and cards, I, I really like, I think it's the use of the pink in it, it just looks really good, I don't know what deck he is yet, so, what did he do? Primordial Clift, yeah, so I don't want to use my Shadow Visions because I don't know what I'm going to need yet. Also, I could use it on pack if this goes down to a long one. It's a gold mage, which means I'm not going to be making a lot of amateur mistakes. Or he just always only plays mage. <laughs> which would be weird, right? I guess it would be that weird if you like, had very limited resources and you just had to, I don't know. I might, uh, Fell fire, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Are these supposed to be mirror images of Jaina herself or just a mirror image of each other? I never quite worked that one out because it does look a little bit like Jaina. Okay. This generally looks like a pretty standard kind of mage. Check out the ooze. Not going to be much use to me, I guess. You may have medieval, but uh, it's kind of a long shot. I don't think it will. I think you'll definitely have a hard major tonight. It's though one million percent. I may need a silence or something like that.
filthy. to do what to do eight cards i've got eight cards
I think I might wait for the Radiant. Let's see what happens. Also, we do have, like, we can afford for him to... Yeah, sure. Flame strike away. Flame strike away. Excuse me, you are on fire. That could be mirror image. Okay, um, play this it's just in case it's mirror image. It's not mirror image. I will uh, find you. Two deaths. Free from amber. Might as well free from amber, right? I guess that's the best one there. God, I'll eat your secrets. Oh my god. I will that would have been so good last turn. Oh, well. It's going to be really good next turn. Still not making out much of a dent, then 
They can't use it on your face. This could be very good. I'm actually going to drop it all and still try and get early because it's been a real key, I think. Okay, okay. He could have Shadow of Pain, which would be a, a nightmare. But we'll see. I'm just imagining him putting out some early stuff. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Is someone injured? Um. Blessings to you. Trouble is, every turn I can pass increase the chance of him getting a shadow of pain. Uh, let's try and draw out the pain here. Okay, so this is it. If he's got Shadow of Pain, he's going to play it now. We know that much. Okay, he's a silence deck. So he probably got silence then. Interesting. He's probably got silence in his deck already. I wonder. The end is coming! Right away. Job done. Okay, that's pretty good. So he's probably got pain by now if he has it. If he doesn't. Sucks, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, okay. Nothing you can do then. Good, good, good. Ah, Glimmeru or Kasakas. I think Kasakas. And I think we're gonna go for a five. vision so I can use it with Lyra. Dill really wanted to get rid of that 3-1 but I think this is slightly better. Okay. Purify. Oh, ow. Okay. Uh, this is where this comes in I guess. No tap face we can attack. Should watch. 
damage. That's not very good. So he's going to have all sorts of inner fire, divine spirit shenanigans as well. So I think this silence is going to be... Not much we can do with this, but maybe we can uh, do something with other things. Oh, actually, I could silence it and then attack with it. So actually, there is things I can do. That's pretty good.
this deck is absolutely crushing people right now. Um, I haven't really been in trouble, have I? But I think I've been very lucky on my draws as well, so I don't Miranda say that much. Gina. If I win, I'm always like, I always think to myself, oh, it's just the draw, it's, it's just the luck of the draw. And when if I lose, this good start. And when if I lose, I'm always like, oh, if only I had a draw better. I think I put way too much emphasis in draw instead of actually being able to do something with those cards, if that makes sense. I mean, this is an ideal start, isn't it? Got some nice low cost cards, which actually will do things. Um, you wanna cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. That's brilliant. That's, that's great. That's fantastic. That's what I, I to be honest, what I ideally would love. Okay. But we can a Doomsayer. Fantastic. Stop it from doing anything next turn. I mean, maybe you can't do anything, but to be fair, what can I do? Oh, not. And if he, if he wants to use... Ex <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. What has he got with three? Yeah, he's got nothing. Got nothing. Maybe I give a nice three cost minion here. Did not give a nice three cost minion here. We chop this down. That's a gold mage, it's not the same one, is it? Uh, I don't know why I thought I could check that. What game is it where you can check, like, previous opponents? There is one, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know, might be a function on PlayStation, actually, where you can check, like, previous people you've you've had. Uh, um, you've played with or against in different games. Okay, he's going to frost bomb ping there. Again, this is good. Again, to react. He's got the uh, Kabul 
crystal runner. Um, which we could fireball to be fair. Or we could shadow a death in. Is he going to play the ball? No. He still hasn't played it. Interesting. Um, Cal spell here. It's fine.
Oh, because I healed him. He's not enraged anymore. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> Where's that? I've never played with Quad Mash before in my life. I had no idea that would happen. It's so strange. Taste my blood. Oh. Oh. That's so strange. Um, as, uh, if I want to play at least by doling to get a five health. In case it's mirror image, I reckon he's definitely got mirror image. Definitely. I don't think it triggers when you summon. Excuse me, you are on fire. Okay. And then ping. I just want to get a low cost minion. Then I can play at least. Then I can do the pack. Then I can win the game. Uh, let's play this. I know it's not low cost. I could kill it with that though. Let so me change that's fine. Your mind. Yep, told you it was mirror image, told you a million percent it was mirror image. Uh, and, yep, good, okay. That's pretty good. Again, I think we've won this game. Pesky secrets are no match for me, my friend. He's only got four cards left. Nine. Uh, we can play at least this now. Jungle hides many secrets. Uh, I probably don't want to do that. I just think I'm getting some value out of now. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Wow, golden legendary. Just in case it's like vaporize. It's like vape. Okay, well, that's a pretty darn good uh, hand, I must say. I think you're dead, my friend, aren't you? I think you know that. Just in case he has a flame strike pop up. I feel like I'm in a pretty strong position. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, oh, Pyroblast. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll catch you guys next time.